Hey everyone, today we are going to keep on our journey with the Junior Penetration Tester Path and our room for today is going to be Careers in Cyber. So let's just open it. And as you can see here, uh, this room was created by Strategos once again, so props to him for creating this room. And uh, let's just get started. Uh, all I know about this room is that at the end we have a quiz and this quiz is supposed to tell us which uh, cybersecurity role we should go for. Or at least it's an attempt to tell us that. <laughs> so yeah, let's just start it. This is the introduction. Um, yeah, so cybersecurity careers are becoming more in demand and offer high salaries. That's true. Uh, there are many different jobs within the security industry from offensive pen testing, hacking, whatever, to defensive security, defending against and investigating cyber attacks yeah so we covered uh what is offensive security and also defensive security on the previous room so we are just going to uh move forward why should we get a career in cyber so there's high pay it's exciting well that's for sure especially if you're on the incident response team and you're on a friday and some critical incident happens to occur at uh, 6 p.m <laughs> that is going to be a pretty fun weekend um, and it's yeah it's in very high demand that's true and this room will help us to break into cybersecurity by providing information about various cybersecurity roles and it also links to different learning paths that you can use to start building your cyber skills well that's amazing so yeah there's no need to answer anything here I'm just going to press um, complete yeah so let's go through our first role which is security analyst okay so a security analyst is responsible for maintaining the security for an organization's data often an organization's data security analysts are integral to constructing security measures across organizations to protect the company from attacks analysts explore and evaluate company networks to uncover actionable and data recommendations for engineers to develop preventative measures. This job role requires working with various stakeholders to gain an understanding of security requirements and the security landscape. So these will be the main responsibilities for a security analyst, working with various stakeholders to analyze the cybersecurity throughout the company, compile ongoing reports about the safety of networks, document and security issues and measures taken in response, and develop security plans, incorporating research on new attack tools and trends and measures needed across teams to maintain data security. And here are the learning paths that TryHackMe is recommending you to do if you're, if you're interested in becoming a security analyst. So you have the press security one, which you can just check out pretty quick. And you can see like each section, what rooms are there and what you can learn, which is pretty nice. And then you also have cyber defense because security analyst is usually working on the defensive side of things on the blue team. So this path would be for more of an intermediate level. So make sure you do the pre-security first. And uh, yeah, no need to answer to anything once again. So this room will be very informative. So there's not much of a challenge here again. Yeah, now we have a security engineer. So a security engineer is, is responsible for designing, monitoring and maintaining security controls, networks and systems to prevent cyber attacks. Yeah. Security engineers develop and implement security solutions using threats and vulnerability data, often sourced from members of the security workforce. Security engineers work across circumventing a breadth of attacks, including web application attacks, network threats and evolving trends and tactics. The ultimate goal is to retain and adopt security measures to mitigate the risk of attack and data loss. Okay, here's the main responsibilities of a security engineer. Testing and screening security measures across software, monitor networks and reports to update systems and mitigate vulnerabilities, identify and implement systems needed for optimal security. And once again, you have three learning paths if you're interested in learning skills and concepts that will help you if you're interested in becoming a security engineer so let's move forward now we have the incident responder that we talked uh, previously <laughs> so yeah i love these images that they are doing very nice now a security uh no not a security an incident responder identifies and mitigates attacks whilst an attacker's operations are still unfolding 
incident responders respond productively and efficiently to security breaches. Responsibilities include creating plans, policies, and protocols for organizations to enact during and following incidents. This is often a highly pressurized position with assessments and responses required in real time as attacks are unfolding. That's why I told you that this is definitely exciting. <laughs> Incident response metrics include MTTD, MTTA, and MTTR. I think this is uh, mean time to detect, uh, mean time to assess, and mean time to respond. Oh, they are here. Mean time to detect, uh, acknowledge, yeah, not to access, and recover or respond. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should read it until the end, and then I'll try to, to guess things. Um, the aim is to achieve a swift and effective response, retain financial standing and avoid negative breach implications. Ultimately, incident responders protect the company's data, reputation and financial standing from cyber attacks. Okay, again, many responsibilities consist of developing and adopting a throughout actionable incident response plan, maintaining strong security best practices and supporting incident response measures, post-incident reporting and preparation for future attacks considering learnings and adaptations to take for incidents from incidents now again the learning path that you should do if you're interested in learning more about what incident response is and if you want to become an incident response yourself cyber defense is the learning path to go at the moment these have been all very focused on the defensive side of things so i'm curious about the red red teaming and offensive side yet to come. Now we have a digital forensics examiner. A re okay, so this role is responsible for using digital forensics to investigate incidents and crimes. If you like to play detective, this might be the perfect job. If you are working as a part of law enforcement department, you, should, you would be focused on collecting and analyzing evidence to help solve crimes, charging the guilty and exonerating the innocent. On the other hand, if your work falls under defending a company's network, you will be using your forensic skills to analyze incidents such as policy violations. The main responsibilities are collect digital evidence while observing legal procedures, analyze digital evidence to find answers related to the case, and document your findings and report to the case. So they don't have a learning path specifically targeting um, digital forensic examiners but i'm sure there are a lot of rooms that you can find here on trihackme that um, explains and talks about uh, forensic concepts so yeah now let's go for the malware analyst finally something interesting <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> um yeah so here a malware analyst's work involves analyzing suspicious programs discovering what they do and writing reports about their findings a malware analyst is sometimes called a reverse engineer as their core task revolves around converting compiled programs from machine language to readable code, usually in a low-level language. This work requires the malware analyst to have a strong programming background, especially in low-level languages such as assembly language and C language. The ultimate goal is to learn about all the activities that a malicious program carries out, find out how to detect it and report it. The main responsibilities are carried out static analysis of malicious programs, which entails reverse engineering. Also conduct dynamic analysis of malware samples by observing their activities in a controlled environment like a sandbox or and document and report all the findings. Okay, so now let's go for the main one, the penetration tester. Let's go. Let's see if I agree with this. <laughs> uh, yeah, once again, I love the image. He is really breaking the monitor almost <laughs> so the penetration tester is responsible for testing technology products for security loopholes you may see penetration testing referred to as pen testing and ethical hacking penetration testers job role is to test the security of systems and software within a company this is achieved through attempts to uncover flaws and vulnerabilities throughout systemized hacking penetration testers exploit these vulnerabilities to evaluate the risk in each instance the company can take these insights to rectify issues to prevent a real-world cyber attack. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Many responsibilities are conduct tests on computer systems, networks, and web-based applications. Well, not only web-based applications, but okay. 
perform security assessments, audits, and analyze policies, and also evaluate and report on insights recommending actions for attack prevention, and also giving mitigation solutions for every finding. Uh, again, we have the learning paths here for uh, penetration testing. So this is the one that we are doing, the junior penetration tester. And then you also have the offensive pen testing. But I think it's a bit more on the intermediate level. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I think we will go through that learning path after we are done with the junior penetration testing. So that's complete. And now let's go for the red teamer. A lot of people think that penetration testing is the same thing as red teaming, and it's not. Um, a red teamer plays the role of an adversary attacking an organization and providing feedback from an enemy's perspective. Red teamers share, okay, this is a, a difficult word, similarities <laughs> to penetration testers with a more targeted job role. Penetration testers look to uncover many vulnerabilities across systems to keep cyber defense in good standing, whilst red teamers are enacted to test the company's detection and response capabilities. It's, it's very interesting that they take this chance to make a direct comparison between penetration testing and red teaming. Um, maybe, and that's maybe because a lot of people think they are the same, but they're, they're not. Um, this job role requires imitating cyber criminals' actions, emulating malicious attacks, retaining access and avoiding detection. A lot of times, you're doing a penetration test um, the security team knows what you're doing and what you're testing um, so on the red team your the idea is for you to be stealth and try to avoid it um, most of the times and red team assessments can run from up to a month typically by a team external to the company they are often best suited to organizations with a mature security programs in place yeah usually a red team assessment takes um, more time than a penetration test. Now, responsibilities. Um, so a red teamer is responsible to emulate the role of a threat actor to uncover exploitable vulnerabilities, maintain access and avoid detection, assess organization security controls, threat intelligence and incident response procedures, evaluate and report on insights with actionable data for companies to avoid real world, real world instances. And the learning paths, if you want to be a red teamer, are, again, the same ones as you should uh, do for a penetration tester role. And you also have a red teamer uh, learning path, which is pretty nice. Um, I think this, this is very recent. I don't remember seeing this. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Maybe after the offensive... Um, what, what was the name? Yeah, the offensive pen testing, we should, maybe we should do the red team. Well, yeah, let's complete this. And now we will have our quiz. So this room has provided you with a general overview of the different careers in cybersecurity. Don't forget that you can leverage online training to land your dream job in cybersecurity. I wonder what, what is this link? Okay, so this is a blog post uh, made by Emma about cybersecurity careers. Um, yeah, to find out which cybersecurity role suits you best, try our fun quiz, which you can access by clicking the view side button on the right. So yeah, let me see if my face is not in the way. Uh, I hope it is not, but um, I'm going to put my face right here. And I'm also going to um, do it like this. So yeah, let's go. Let's do this. I, I, I'm actually curious to see what this is going to, uh, what the results are going to be. Um, so learn about the different cybersecurity career roles. If I was stranded on an island, the first thing I would do is try and build a raft home, scope the landscape for potential threats. Hmm. That's a good question. Do I have more? Um, oh, I have more options. Okay. Gather food and plan the next stops. Find a way to send an SOS. Build a secure shelter to prevent potential attacks. Hmm, this is interesting. I think I will I will build a shelter first. Um, now this is going to um, point me into a defensive um, roles, I guess. So in my spare time, I like to tinker with new technology, understand how it works, watch crime-solving TV shows, uh, keep busy by learning something new. 
find geocaches in my neighborhood, upkeep and maintain my home through DIY projects. Mm. These are not security related questions, so this is interesting. Hmm. I like to learn new things, so yeah. If I could buy a fictional celebrity dinner, it would be. Hmm. I think it would be with yeah, Tony Stark. My favorite game is. Oh wow. I like chess. Uh, I'm best described as. Hmm. <laughs> See, this is so weird. Um, yeah, I'm very curious. Mm, yeah, this calm under pressure screams incident response. Mischievous should be for red teaming. Hmm, I'm. I can't decide between practical or curious, but I'm going for I'm going for for curious. My favorite movie is. I like Matrix a lot. I'm going for the Matrix. Incident responder, what? Oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh, wow. Wait, was this my result? Or... Yeah, I think it was. This, this was my result. Oh, it was not. What? Wait. What just happened yeah i think this was my result yeah it was it was so yeah i guess i'm i'm i should have been an incident responder <laughs> not a penetration tester but uh yeah so let me just click on complete on this one and um just tell you guys thank you so much for watching this video i think the next rooms are going to be uh more technical i would say let's see what the next room is going to be let me just move my face here uh, and put it as it was before um, yeah there we go so our next room uh, walking an application we already did and content discovery for some reason uh, we were in the middle of finishing it so yeah maybe I have to restart this because I don't even remember starting this room um, so yeah the next rooms are going to be more technical for sure. So yeah, they are just related to web hacking at, at the beginning. So yeah, yeah, these are going to be much more technical. And then we are going to mess with Burp Suit, which is uh, one of the most used tools for web application hacking and also mobile hacking. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited to go through all of these uh, modules during the path. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you had some fun watching this um, walkthrough and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.